Learn Delhi online easily at Delhi School. Hi, Rishad Shah from Delhi School, and in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can use stock items and stock groups in Delhi. So, in the previous video, I've explained how you can create stock items and stock groups in Delhi, but in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can use them in Delhi. What is the actual use of it in Delhi? So we can use it in sales. We can use it in purchase. This is the two most. These are the two vouchers where most of the stock items and stock groups that thing is used. Other than that, they are used while viewing the stock summary. So the major uses sales and purchase and if we issue debit note or credit note we can use there also so in this video i'm going to show you uh creating sales voucher purchase voucher with items that is mobiles accessories we have created in the previous video and debit note credit note sales purchases everything using the items in one of the previous videos of sales and purchase vouchers I've explained accounting invoice so that was without items now in this video I'm going to explain you with items so you can have a full grasp on tally you know every basic detail of tally and you become good at it so let's start with sales voucher so as you know in the previous video we have already created opening balances of stock items that is mobile screen guards and let's look at what it was in the stock summary mobiles screen guards and earphones so we have 50 earphones and 55 screen guards and we have 25 mobiles so now what we will do is create a sales voucher we will be selling mobiles and accessories also so let's get back to gateway of tally go to accounting voucher and if you are not in sales already you can go to sales by pressing f8 it is the shortcut or you can just click here so let's select the date it's first april 2015 for me reference nothing and make sure if you have here uh, like accounting invoice make sure you put it to item invoice i've already put it to item invoice so it will show quantity and rate in accounting invoice it will only show rate and amount but in item invoice it will show quantity and rate so put it to item invoice press enter nothing for reference party account name so this is the sundry data which we have and in our case it is amit so amit I've already explained how you can create sundry data's account in the video of sales and purchase vouchers in tally. I have also linked that below in the description. Also I have linked the previous video below in the description of creating stock items, stock categories and units of measure in tally. So if you are confused about how you can create or how to create sundry data's ledger or how to create stock items, you can watch the video by clicking through the links in the description. So press Ctrl plus A to skip these details and the ledger account which is the sales ledger. I have also explained to create sales ledger in sales and purchase vouchers in Tally video. So I have already created the sales ledger that is domestic sales and the name of item would be let's say we are selling mobile. So mobile as I have typed MO it will show up the mobile so select mobile and quantity let's say two mobiles at the rate of let's say 20,000 so it is total 40,000 and earphones also 10 earphones at 600 rupees that is 6,000 and screen guards also so screen guards let's say 15 screen guards at 350 rupees so it is 500 to 50 rupees sorry 5000 to 50 rupees and press enter so total is 51250 rupees and press enter 
it will come here so check the balance once again check the total number of items here is total 27 and press enter if you want to write the narration you can always write the narration i don't want to write the narration so press enter and save it so this is how you create sales voucher with items in tally so this is the first use of stock items in tally with sales now what we will do is we will purchase some items from the creditor named rohan so we'll go to the purchase there is f9 so just click here and come to the purchase voucher and press enter so after selecting the date invoice number let's say invoice number is 25 for example and date of invoice is also first april 2015 press enter and in the list of ledger account select rohan once again i've already explained how you can create sundry creditors as well as sundry data ledgers in sales and purchase vouchers in tally video so go ahead click in the link below in the description and check that video if you don't know how to create that ledgers if you know just watch this video and go ahead so rohan and just press ctrl plus a to skip all these details we don't require this now and the purchase ledger will be domestic purchases i've also explained domestic purchases ledger to create that is a purchase ledger and i've also explained that in the sales and purchase vouchers in tally videos so i think i've said it many times but go ahead and watch that video if you don't know what i'm doing right now so we will purchase uh, some mobiles so let's type in mobile and mobile let's say we purchase five mobiles for fourteen thousand rupees this time per mobile so it will be seventy thousand and we will purchase only earphones we'll purchase 20 earphones for 600 rupees this time and total will be 12,000 so press enter press enter once again check the amount 82,000 total check the total items 25 press enter and write the narration if you want to if you don't want it is okay press enter and press enter to save it so I have created a simple purchase voucher including stock items in tally so i am sure it is very easy and you must have learned it in fun and easy way to create sales and purchase vouchers with stock items in tally so this is the most used voucher for stock items in tally that is purchase and sales now what we will do is we'll create a credit note as well as debit note so we have sold some items and we have purchase some items so first of all we will look at the sales and then i'll tell you for what the credit note is to be made so let's go to the profit and loss account to see the sales and purchase figures so press escape and come back to gateway of tally and then come to the profit and loss account below the balance sheet press enter go to sales accounts then go to domestic sales then we have just made sales so go to april and we have made sales of 51,250 so we'll go in there so mobile 2 earphones 10 and screen guards 15 so let's say we the person who's purchased from us did not want three earphones and five screen guards otherwise everything is okay so he does not want three earphones and five screen guards so three earphones total 600 per earphone so that will be 1800 rupees and five earphones 350 i have to calculate that so it will be automatically calculated by tally so you don't worry just remember three earphones 600 per unit and five screen guards 350 per unit so let's get back and create a credit note so let's go back to gateway of tally by pressing escape five six times and go to accounting vouchers once again now in here press ctrl plus f8 or just click here so i'm clicking here that is credit note first april 2015 
no original invoice number, nothing. Original invoice date is first April 2015. And party account name is of course Amit. Press Control plus A to save this. Then select domestic sales from the sales ledger. And now we want to return three earphones and five screen guards. So earphones three quantity for 600 that is 1800 and screen guards just write screen and it will automatically take up from the list so five screen guards worth 350 it is 1750 rupees so now we have created a credit note just press enter press enter come down below check the amount there is amount and check the total number and press enter and then save it so this is how you create credit note and now I'm going to show you how you can create debit note using stock items in tally so let's select the debit note option that is control plus F9 or you can just simply click here so I'm pressing control plus F9 and I'm in the debit note now what I will do is go to original invoice number like it was 25 and date was 1st April 2015 and the ledger is Rohan as we know and we want to create a debit note because we don't want items certain items that we purchased from Rohan so press enter and control plus A to save this select domestic purchases as we have selected that while we are creating we are creating this purchase entry so now name of the item is we purchase mobiles so let's say we want to return one mobile of 14,000 and we also purchase earphones so we want to return two earphones of 600 so this is it and press enter we just want to return this much item so we have entered the item quantity rate and the amount press enter come down and check the balance total 15200 check the total quantity there is three and press enter you can enter the narration if you want if you don't want go ahead and save it so we have created a debit note also so far in this video we have created sales voucher purchase voucher debit note credit note for stock items that is using stock items in tally so this is how you use stock items for 95 percent of your accounting requirements in tally i'm sure you have learned a lot from this and if you have any confusion as usual you can comment down below if you are on YouTube, you can comment down below on YouTube. If you are watching this on Tally School, you can comment down below on Tally School, and I'll be more than happy to solve each and every of your doubt. Even if it is silly, don't hesitate to ask because no one's going to care on the internet. So just ask, and I'll be happy to help you. If you don't ask, I cannot help you. That is it. So just ask any of your doubts put it in the comments and I'll be happy to help you if you like this video please share it don't like don't subscribe but just share this video so that people like you can learn I don't want likes I don't want subscriptions just share so people like you who don't know telly or who are not knowing telly well can learn and they can help like you others also so just share this video if you liked a bit of this video if you learn from this video share this video on facebook whatsapp youtube google plus twitter whatever you wherever you want to share this video thank you for watching this video i'm rishitra signing off from tally school